Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. Have you always wanted one of those Nerf dart launchers but you can't even afford gum? Well, get ready because today I'm going to show you how to make a considerably cheaper one. Get some of these distinctive blue darts which we'll set aside while we look for a few smoothie straws. Take one with some tweezers and insert it into the dart completely through the hole. This way you can measure the length of the straw that we will need. To achieve our goal, make use of the nearest pair of scissors to cut the straw, leaving just a small protruding section. To start assembling this structure, we'll need a small plastic container like this Tic Tac box for a stinky breath. In the event that you still have some mints left, take them all out and put them somewhere else so you can proceed to mark a dot on the lid with the black pen. With the soldering iron, perforate the mint container on the mark point and then open the lid and apply some super glue around the opening. Don't forget to close your glue so it doesn't dry out and close the lid so that it will never open again. Insert the straw we just cut into the hole we created in the previous step, but don't put it all the way in. Then, remove the dart and apply hot glue where the straw meets the box. Take our multifunctional machine out of the toolbox. In case it doesn't have the correct attachment, replace it with the bit we'll need. Go back to the mint box and create two small holes in the base with our mini drill. Once you've made the holes, call the police to dismantle the beautiful sports car they use as a patrol car. Take out the ball of wires and electronic boards and begin to transform them into the electrical circuit of what will be our latest model spy dart launcher car. While we make the connections between the wires of our circuit and the high voltage source, let's talk a little about the life or immortality of the crab. The latter sounds a little nuts to me. Someone thought that they were really immortal beings. Those little animals, huh? Let's stop philosophizing and test that the sparks obediently show up when we press the button on our remote control. Then insert the wires through the bottom holes in our little box. If necessary, open the box and with the help of skinny tweezers, move the wires toward each other. Spray a little of this magical chain reaction substance inside and close it again before loading the dart into the straw. Test 1. Action! After our quality test, hot glue all of the pieces together. By the way, did you hear the gossip? A couple of videos ago, some subscribers were fighting intensely in the comments about who was the first one to watch my new video. I just wanted to tell you that there's no need to fight over me, girls. There's enough Creator King for everyone. After gluing all the pieces together, remove the cap from your favorite soft drink and so as not to waste such a delicious beverage, empty it into a glass to sip quietly. We'll need a total of four caps, so I recommend that you look for some in the garbage that you can recycle. Pierce one of them with a soldering iron at high temperatures and get our little toy motor. Apply instant glue on the pivots of the motor and place the perforated cap on one of them. Fill it with hot glue to prevent it from coming off. Repeat the previous step with the next screw cap to complete the first part of the wheels. As a curious fact and to encourage the recycling of this stuff, did you know that plastic currently accounts for 80% of ocean pollution? Poor fish, Nemo would be very disappointed in us. It's time to drill the remaining caps in the center as they will obviously be the other two wheels of our dart car. In addition to the caps, you'll need a wooden rod that will act as a bridge between the wheels and the motor. Place the stick on the engine to measure the length we will need and mark it with a pencil. Then saw it mercilessly until it comes apart. Apply hot glue around one end to fuse one of the plastic caps to it. Before attaching the second screw cap, you'll need another straw like the one we used at the beginning of the video. Take the stick with the cap again and, resting it on one of the engine wheels, insert it into the straw to measure the size we should cut based on where the second tire starts. Place the cut piece into the stick and close it with the remaining cap. Secure the bond with a dab of our super glue. 
As you know, I'm a big fan of popsicle sticks. I think they're a great invention that we happen to use to make more inventions with on this channel. Glue the motor with the caps to one end of the stick. Get a small wooden clothespin, which I'll duplicate with the power of editing. Apply super glue to the middle of the popsicle stick and attach one clothespin. Repeat the steps again, right next to the first one. Veterans on my channel will know that when foam yoga mats are present, it's most likely because we're going to make a caterpillar system. And for those who don't know what that is, Google it. After marking the size of our wheels, cut a long strip of foam with a pair of scissors and replicate it. Take the ends of one strip that we just cut and hot glue them together. We'll repeat the process with the second strip to obtain this pair of foamy bands. Place the first band on one of the motor rims and then insert the second set of wheels. The second foam band will be placed on the remaining wheels on the opposite side. Adjust them well so that they are sufficiently taut when we glue them down. Glue another pair of caps in the center as the support of our dart launcher. With that, we'll be ready for action. Watch as our unique invention effortlessly travels over an enormous and varied amount of terrain. So much potential in such a small body. We've already proven that it can conquer any road, but how about trying its main attraction? For the demonstration, we'll stack a series of red disposable cups left over from the last time I was with my friends, which was months ago. Julio, if you're watching this, I miss you. Putting my emotions aside, have you seen how easily it knocks him down? Almost as easy as it was to break your poor little heart this February 14th. <laughs> By the way, who did you guys spend it with? If you don't have anyone, I am still available. For the next invention with Nerf darts, you'll need a few of them which will suffer a sad fate as they will be mercilessly sliced by our scissors. You didn't expect that, did you? With the heads of the darts in our position, remove any blue fluffy residue that might remain, leaving only the orange rubber which will serve a greater purpose. Literally, they will be part of bigger and fatter darts. To achieve our goal, remove the supports from a pair of 10 milliliter medicine syringes. These two will undergo size reduction surgery. We'll need a ruler and a pen. Mark four centimeters on each one. In the meantime, tell me how many of you have already given up on your New Year's resolutions. I already have. I didn't even last a week. With the marks made, proceed to cut the excess with pliers. Don't forget to use my special technique, cutting each of the quadrants and then separating them with brute force. Do the exact same with the other one before moving on to the next step. Gently place the initial pieces to one side so that they don't get in the way. Get a sheet of foam in the color of your choice. Since I want them to look as close as possible to the originals, I chose a blue one. Place the support piece on the foam and mark the measurement that we'll need in order to completely cover the piece. Cut it with the help of your scissors. Look how soft and flexible. I call this movement the wave. Okay, enough with the nonsense. Let's find the best super glue on earth and apply some to one end of the strip. Take one support piece and place it on one end of the foam strip that has the glue on it. Roll it up like a burrito stuffed with avocado, cheese, onion, and oh, I'm hungry. Once it looks like this, replicate the process on the remaining pieces. To finish the assembly of our darts, take the orange rubber pieces from the originals and cut the long end with scissors. Apply a dab of hot glue and attach it to the dart through the opening. They're perfect. I'll feel bad for anyone who gets hit with one of them. Now, let's begin to assemble the system that will launch the darts. We'll first need to plug the liquid outlets of the syringe container with hot glue. Next, get the multi-purpose tool and remove the safety piece in order to insert a thin drill bit. By the way, did you see that watch? Spoilers! Drill a couple of holes on the side of our syringes. I would tell you to be careful with your fingers and stuff, but I'm sure you're tired of hearing, but I trust you'll be careful. 
With the perforations already made, load our darts in their respective syringe bodies and get the package of popsicle sticks. Of course, I ate all those ice pops. It would be against the principles of this channel if I were to buy them. Measure 3 centimeters on the popsicle stick and cut it with pliers to obtain this little wooden board. Glue it over the two dart launchers. It will be used to hold them together. Although, because of the intensity of the reaction that will take place inside it, let's add one more small board just in case. The next step will be to create the electrical circuit that will project the darts towards our enemies. Start by getting two high voltage generators to produce lots and lots of electricity. Apply instant glue to the flat side of one of the generators to join the two together, creating a mega voltage super generator. Something like Digivolution. Who here besides me was a fan of Digimon? In addition to gluing the dart launchers together, put the wires of the generators through the holes in the syringes. Two generators will need twice as much power to run, so look for where you can get a couple of 9 volt batteries. Apply instant glue on the sides of the mega generator to install its two power sources, one on each side. Get a box of mints, it doesn't matter if you haven't finished them since they will only serve as a base. Glue the box under the whole structure with some glue, then find a red button with a small piece of wire. Connect the metal strands from the wire you just cut to both pins. Cover it completely with insulating tape like an Egyptian mummy and duplicate the switch. Get two cables with clips for each battery and connect all the remaining generator cables to each other. Remember this watch I told you about a few minutes ago? We're going to add an extra function so that now, apart from telling the time, it will defend you with attack darts. Already, now we have a watch with a darts defense system to protect us in any dangerous situation. By simply loading it with this special reactive liquid, we'll be able to defend ourselves in true James Bond style. I doubt that any of your friends have anything as cool as this. Take that, evil can of chips. You will never again fatten me up with your tastiness. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time!